舞台は寝台神秘残る最後の時代魔獣スクーウルクの地で最大の悪が目を覚ますフェイトグランドオーダー第7得意点絶対魔獣戦線バビロニア Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Fate Grand Order. We're in Bab Babylonia, so let's head back to the embassy where we will do reference to a rock and roll song. It says, Welcome to the Jungle. That's pretty cool. Hey, so between parts, one thing that I did do is I did do、um, Elizabeth's rank up quests because I didn't realize I didn't do them. So I did them now. So now she has a better noble phantasm. And she has, when she does her charisma, it also double ups any female party members, which is good because most of my party members are female. So,、uh, let's grab a Hassan because, hey, that's always helpful. So, it looks like we need to get rid of a Lancer, which, why are you here, sir? You're not someone to kill a Lancer with. That will be. My alarm is going off in my room because I forgot to tell it to not.、So. I think that worked. Okay. Um, you two ruler berser berserker? Sure, why not? Eh, whatever. Um, let's actually give you, let's see here. Actually, the aerial drive is probably really good with you, considering. Um, where is it here? Four star, right? Right, the aerial dive. I need to find out where it is. Okay, so people were talking about this. When I saw Humanoid, I didn't realize that that included humans. Does that make sense? Humanoid made me think that this one only worked for, like, things that were human like but not human. So now that I know it's all human shaped things, well, geez, yeah, that's actually not too bad. Um, is the aerial dive because I. Right here. This will be good with you for sure because that buster up, the noble phantasm strength up, all that good stuff.、Uh, let's just give you kaleidoscope. When in doubt, pop a kaleidoscope. I don't need guts with you. Give you kaleidoscope. Uh, okay. And mash. You too. Grab a kaleidoscope. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Wait, well, you don't need that either. Um. Do you, you have lots of arts? Nah, you don't. Hmm. We'll switch that then. Okay. Okay. Alright. I, I, I. Let's, uh. Head on off to the jungle, I guess. Oh? Where are we? What is this blood sea? Don't go. Don't go. Leave. Don't leave me. Alone again. Leave me again. Uh, this is. Come back, come back once more to me. Once more, just once more. Oh no. Ever again, ever. Love me again. What <laughs> the heck? What in tarnation? What the. What is this? Whoa! His original sin. This is mankind's original sin. The apple? There are different kinds of sin to harm others, to deceive others, to envy others, to take the lives of others. This reminds me of, um. Emia's, like, dive into his heart that he does with Rin. These are all evils that mankind holds. These are all toxins that affect only mankind. However, this is the oldest evil of them all. I'm sorry, what? The original Sin 2? They made a sequel? The Sin of Parting from Eden, I'm guessing, and Leaving Paradise. Ah, but. Life was born from the sea. No, well, it can't be, Christian. This is pre- Well, no, this is not pre-Garden of Eden, but I don't know where that- I don't know how this t- I don't know how it relates! Primeval Sea, Namu. The goddess of the beginning. 
To be to mankind, the goddess is the sea itself. The roaring of the waves became a voice to expose your sins. Never forget that. That voice is your original sin. This name shall become your savior. That name is. Ah! How sad. What uh, the heck? Uh, what was in that ale? Concludes our report. We couldn't shear the sheep and we ended up having to eradicate the surrounding demonic beasts. I see. Boring. What's the matter, High Priestess? Do not stop reporting. Do not, don't mind them. There was evidence of a summoning at the altar of Ayana, as I expected. Asked those who were working at the time. The ritual of that scale must have required them to clear some people out ahead of time. Look for people who were suddenly given days off. That will be your lead. And that concludes our report. We were supposed to help make some sweets, and it somehow turned into the Great Uruk Dessert Championship. How does that happen? I don't understand. You soldier, what do you want? Don't waste my time. Even Ugalu has appeared. At this point, all of the offspring of Tiamat have been spotted. Done 200 more units of firewood to the northern wall. Poisonous dragon Bosmu will soon appear there. Boil water and bring be thorough with sterilization. So we're reporting and he's just ignoring us? And that concludes our report. The investigation of an affair somehow ended up in a deadly underground revolt. Gulp? In Gilgamesh, I was in the middle of my report. Would you focus over here, please? I've heard your report, Sidori. Close the books. You just interrupted the best part. Give her the belt of Nidaba from my treasury. It'll be more than enough for the temple matron of Aresh. That name sounds interesting. And that concludes our report. Senpai solved the argument over the rising prices of mutton and milk with a single remark. Let them eat beans. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, this master eating beans. Wait, you're saying that was all it took? How are beans better than mutton? <laughs> Don't tell me you sold those beans and told them to pair it with ale. Well, that's no good, it's too early for a rook. We can't have people enslaved working only for beans. In Gilgamesh, reports are building up, so let us return to the matter at hand. I see, you are right. Fine, continue, Chaldeans, you may leave now. So now for today's report, Gilgamesh is a busy person. Let's make it quick for him. It's becoming sort of fun, though. It's kind of poking at him. That concludes our report. We shall take our leave, King Gilgamesh. We're sorry to have taken up your time. No, wait a moment, Tanner. Oh, whoa, whoa, did you just say my name? What of it? If your name is worth uttering, and it's only natural for me to do so. We've made quite a bit of progress, hearing many comments from the citizens of Uruk about your work. Your work was not that interesting. However, I must take public opinion into consideration as well. Banner of Caldia, I'm sure you're getting bored of all the petty tasks now. I shall grant you a pass to go outside of Uruk, spread your wings a little. Oh, hey, cool. My king, more details, please. I'm not your king, I'm a rook's king. Oh, wait, I suppose it's the same now. Insolent fool, how dare you make me correct myself on such a trivial matter. Ask Merlin for the details. I expect good? No, I expect an amusing report from you. <laughs> Tenpai Merlin, we did it! We've gotten a direct order from King Gilgamesh. <laughs> Yes, congratulations, you two. Even I didn't expect the king to give in so soon. You will head to the city of Ur in the south. Your objective is to investigate the forest from which no one has yet returned. I wanted to lie around and do nothing a bit longer, but I suppose there's no choice but to go oh, lie around all right. You definitely wanted to do, buddy. Maybe it's time to move the pawn forward. Lord Tanner. I heard from Lady Siduri. How wonderful. I feel just like when Emperor Go Shirakawa awarded me my titles. Yes, truly. However, Lord Uchiwakamaru, that is not a very auspicious example. Thank you, both of you. It's a shame we can't tell Leonidas now, but I'll let him know when we come back. Not only that, you're going to investigate Ur. 
Your? Er? I don't know. Ah. Been able to accompany you yesterday. But I've received word from Lord Leonidas that something's happening at the Demonic Front, so I should hurry over there. Truly unfortunate. Alright. Bankay, let's do the thing. To congratulate uh, Tanner's promotion and to wish for their safety. Oh, that. Well then, Lord Tanner and Lady Mash, head outside. Ah, how's your sword drawn? The two of us shall wish for the safety and success of your trip. Come, it's just a practice bat to get you fired up. We're definitely not thinking of defeating you to trade jobs and head to her herself, so do not worry. This is completely ridiculous, Master, but I guess we have to. This fight is a quick warm-up. Eh, it happens. Here you get- you do these friendly spars every now and then. It's a common thing, it seems. Gotta find a way to have you battle servants some way or another. So, let us go. Fight. Benkei and Ushiwakamaru. Sounds good. God, those shoes, how do you stand? Alright, um... Let's actually... Well, look at this. I'll give you a bunch. 13 sea stars? That's not bad. I just realized I clicked on the wrong person. I haven't drank all my coffee yet. It's early in the morning. That's on me. Time to wake up. That's okay. It'll be worth it in the end. They all somehow hit the wrong one. Good. Alright. Now. Ooh, ooh, look at them numbers. Maybe it was all a court to say cock cock cock. How much? Oh, that's nice. That's pretty base. I like that. Ooh, Noble Phantasm Seal. That's kind of annoying. Um, let's go... Sure. Okay. It sounds like he says shut up when he gets hit. It really does. Ushi will die by... Well, no, I'm not going to use that. Ushi will die through this because the female bonus. Yep, yep, that's good. That's some good damage. And we nearly killed this man. Blank subscription list? What does that mean? Um, let's go... Kill? No, we'll go... Like this. Oh, dang. Well, never mind. That's fine. Oh, well, we get to see Banke's Noble Phantasm. That's it? Stunning curse? Really? Wow. wow. That's kind of terrible. That's almost hilariously terrible. I mean, I guess it's good for, like, when you're using it, but not so much when it's being used against you, huh? Hmm. Well, let's finish this off. Like this. Start with an Arondite, and then finish it off with an Execution. Good, yep. And this will do it. We'll get to see that cool glitch where when you kill someone, they just disappear, right? Glitch that turns the because it was so cool. Never mind. That only happens when they don't jump away. 
Right. I knew that. All right. We did that. Cool, cool, cool. I am halfway done my coffee. I need to keep sippy sippy. Splendid. With those skills, you shall win the day no matter what awaits you in Ur. Indeed. We are most reassured now in sending you off. However, please do be careful. It isn't just soldiers that have returned that haven't returned after heading into that jungle. Two other heroic spirits King Gilgamesh summoned. Amakasu Amakusashiro and Fumakotaro have not yet returned either. This dude summoned Shiro? Oh boy. That's interesting. I did not expect him to ever be part of the main story. Lord Amakusa and Lord, Ko Lord Kotaro, huh? I had thought perhaps the Twin Arm Brigade would, but... So many servants from Japan. Exactly. The Oni, Ibaraki, and Tomoe Gozen were here, too. Ibaraki broke off and disappeared somewhere. Tomoe Gozen faced Jiratibulia, the general of the demonic beasts, and they took each other out. Ibaraki was mouthing off, saying she was going to organize a bandit group in the area, so I scared her off and she ran away. As soon as I find her as part of the Minamoto clan, she'll take responsibility in lopping her head off. Since we're talking about that, Oni, I'm sure she's doing n nothing more than fuming in some ruins. Ah, uh, Ibaraki Doji. No, don't think we'll ever meet. Done with your goodbyes? We'll be on our way soon, ready? Yes, we'll be right there. Ushiwakamaru, Benkei, thank you very much. Gratefully accept your parting words. Likewise, growing up in the mountains, I could only provide a boorish celebration. It was a good, fulfilling battle. We eagerly await your turn. You're gone. Leave the protection of a rook to us. We're gonna come back and it's gonna be in flames. Thanks, we'll be on our way. We are going to return to this place in shambles. I'm calling it now. I called it once in Camelot. And I'm calling it now again. To the bog! Bog, 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 bog. We got... We got some, uh... Got some of these and some of those. Okay, so... Let's see here... Who do we want? What do I want? What? I mean, well, no, we've 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 seen Suzaku goes in. I think we've. S I think at this point, aside from characters that I'm trying to avoid, like any of the um, Garden of Sinners characters, who I'll get to eventually, uh, I am at the point where I have pretty much seen all of them. So we'll grab your super powerful Mordred because I love it. Um, so then let's go. Let's switch you out for a Lancer. My best Lancer is probably you. Switch you out for... Actually, no. We'll, we'll put up our newly powered up Elizabeth here. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Let's go. Just a battle, huh? Makes sense. Hopefully it is just for one. Or there's story after. I'm happy we've definitely moved away from all of the just walking and then, oh no, senpai, there's enemies. It's like, that was more than a little annoying. Wow, I should have not grabbed you all. Okay, well, good to know. Okay, at least they're not me. Okay. And we'll go now. Same thing. Just pop you at the end. Good, good, good. Honestly, the, the 500 HP loss per turn is such kind of a nothing thing. It's so trivial that, yeah, like that's the, the Black Grail is a really good mobile phantasm. Okay. Although I don't I don't know if it makes 
getting Noble Phantasm Meter harder because it almost feels like it a bit. Just a, just a bit, you know? Okay, I'm re-rolling. Oh, cool, thanks. Still none of that, huh? Okay, well... Let's... Um... Pop that on. Pop that on. Okay, let's use this, because why not? We got it. Okay. Whenever I have a multi-target, I always want to go for the one in the middle, because for some reason it makes it feel like it spreads out the damage more, because I'm thinking of, like, other RPGs, even though like, there's absolutely nothing in this game. The charm is such a nice little bonus. Nice. Okay. And we'll go. Like Finish things off here. Very nice. Alright. And she's already almost at... Well, no. If I use her granting it, she'll get it immediately. It's a moose... Moose... What are these... What are these... Things... It's a Mushmahu. Mushmahu. Sure. Um, I'm gonna use this with you first. That'll deal the big boy damage. Very nice. Okay, so, um, so yeah, this one will give attack up to them doubly over now, and we can pop this on you, and this, uh, well, because I don't think you have any that you've seen either, right? Let's see here. You do? Oh, never mind, we're all good then. I'm gonna start with this because that's gonna be ridiculous. All right, let's go. I like how she just said, "Yeah, let's destroy them." That damage is banana balls. Just fuck wild. How are you so strong? I'll take all those. I especially... Uh, Serpent Jewels were so hard to get originally, but now it's like, yeah, just take them. Whatever. God, those lottery events are the best, aren't they? There's another one coming up for Christmas, so I'm excited. Even... What are all these? Like, there's little... I've never seen uh, a accent that goes un... Well, no, that's not true. There's a little, like, CJ thing in French, so never mind. When was hot mama... Even Mushma, Mushmahu, Mushmahu. I'm gonna type into Google how to pronounce Musma, Musmahu. Okay, let's see here. Um, how to pronounce? Okay, here we go. Musmahu. Musmahu. Um, whatever. I don't care. Number of demonic beasts from the north just keep on increasing. Yeah, that many of the eleven offspring have shown up. You'll start hearing people claim that the goddess of demonic beasts is the same as Tiamat. But wait, what? What's this about the eleven offspring? According to the Mesopotamian creation myth, they are the last children of Tiamat, the mother of all gods. Tiamat is one of the primordial, primordial gods of Mesopotamia. Or perhaps she could be considered a first-generation god. In Mesopotamian mythology, the universe is called Anki. An means heaven, and Ki means earth and goddess. The goddess brings forth life, and the god rules it. That's how the relationship is. Back when what was above was not called heaven, and what was beneath was not called earth, the god Abzu mated with the goddess Tiamat gave birth to many children. The gods wait Abzu? 
Uh, wait. Are we- wait, 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 wait. Final Fantasy Abzu. You're talking about Don Corneo's pet? Really? That thing got with Tiamat? What does Final Fantasy's Tiamat look like again? Because I fought it. No, Tiamat's a multi-headed dragon, usually. Right, okay. But as the children grew, they desired power. They rebelled against Tiamat to widen the world. Tiamat was saddened and angered by her children's betrayal and created new children. They were only key, incomplete creations that lacked Anne. As a result, these children were not gods. Instead, they were twisted, terrifying beasts, the eleven offspring of Tiamat. Seven-headed serpents, known as the Musmahu, the wicked water snakes, known as Usumgalu, Dragon Beast Basmu, the poison snake, Babylon's dragon Mushusu, the terrifying snake, Two-Faced Beast Lamu, the mysterious child, there's no description of its form in the book, so I can't tell you more, Giant Beast Ugalu, the giant sun, I'm sorry, the giant sun, the lion doggery Dimu, Ertibiliwi, the wise, the scorpion man, until three months ago, was the commander of the demonic beasts. Moe goes and sacrificed herself to slay Ertibiliwi. I'm not gonna try. It's thanks to her that our battle lines still hold. Evil spirits Umu da Umu? Umu? Is that one Nero? Umu da Bruta, the fierce storm, the winged mermaid Kululu. Lastly, Minotaur Kusariku, the Sun Follower. Is that all of them? In Mesopotamian creation mythos, these creatures fought the gods alongside Tiamat. They were commanded by the god Kingu. Well, that one's pretty self-explanatory. One chosen by Tiamat. The army of the gods, with the help of the new god Marduk. Oh, like the one from Tekken? It was so powerful, they defeated Kingu. Tiamat bit hard into Marduk, but he defeated her with a final strike from his bow. Tiamat lay there defeated, and the gods ripped her body apart, turning it into the land that flows out on the sea. That was the land of Mesopotamia, a world created from the body of the fallen deity. Oh! Xenoblade. Sorry, all I can do is related to pop culture. That's all I can do. I apologize. Well, it's a pretty typical creation myth body of the Earth Mother is used as a soil to create the world. It's a theme seen in other mythologies, too. The goddess creates life, but when she turns to chaos, she becomes the enemy of humanity, mother of the demonic beasts. It's an authority called Hotnia Theron, the womb of a hundred beasts. Mm, don't like that name. Anyone with this authority possesses the seed of life and make an infinite amount of monsters, provided they have the resources. Based on the number of demonic beasts, the goddess to the north likely has his authority. Yeah, as a result, the people of Uruk see the goddess of the demonic beasts as Tiamat and fear her. Makes sense, the offspring of Tiamat are actually all here. Hmm. Regardless of her true name, her authority and the sheer number of her forces make her the greatest threat. I wonder if King Gilgamesh has some kind of plan. The enemy really is Tiamat. If we just keep defending him, we'll eventually be overwhelmed. Well, that's a problem for later. For now we need to focus on the south, not the north, Roman. Once we cross the Euphrates, we'll be at Ur. And are you ready? Make sure you're well prepared. If we're unlucky, you'll be forced to fight the second goddess. Eh! <laughs> I can take a stinky goddess. I say as it wipes me out in a battle that's even harder than... Err, err, it is. Okay, sounds good. I like it when it's Berserker and something else, because that means I can give a very, very easy one-sided, you know, make a party. Go with Kill Lancer. All right, we're gonna switch you out for. I need my. She's gonna go by class again. There we go. Um, you. So we got these ones. Ruler there. Uh, I mean, Berserker's good. Not the best. That's okay. Okay, yeah. 
Eh, it should still be good. All right. Uh, I mean, well, what? A, you know what? Actually, let's switch you off for you. <gasps> this is it, fellas. Past, present, future. I mean, it's not mine, but I'll take it. Everyone got quiet when he entered the forest. What's wrong? This does not look like the right climate. I mean, it's a dense forest, so I know you're worried about getting lost, but... It's so hot! The heat is intense. But forests were cooler and quieter. I know how Anna feels. I underestimated this as well. To be fair, you're wearing metal plate armor. That's probably very hot. Rising up from the ground, the strong smell of dirt, the cries of the animals that are sure to drive you crazy. So this is what they call a jungle. What was this? Was this what Earth was like 65 million years ago, just before the asteroid hit? That's how Mexico feels. Oh, uh, you're talking about the Great Extinction? The one where an asteroid hit the Yucatan Peninsula and wiped out the dinosaurs? Really? I didn't know that it hit the Yucatan. That's interesting. I can only watch you guys on the screen, but that's gotta be an exaggeration, right? No exaggeration, this is terrible. You eat so many flies and it's hard to walk. This ether is incredible. Much denser than the Isle of Britain. Armani, are you monitoring the density of magical energy? On par with a reality marble. Oh, um, I'm embarrassed to say, but the instruments are unstable. It's like Egypt. This is a different world, or rather, the mythological system itself is different. You can only do so much by pointing Shiva towards a rook. You can't distinguish heat sources, let alone details of your surroundings. You'll have to rely on your senses, utilize your eyes and noses to detect danger. Eyes, sure, but nose? I don't know about that one. Yep, in a jungle, your sense of smell is an important source of information. It tells you the past better than any echo locators. The smell of an animal lingers in an area. If you could visualize it as a number, you could easily deduce what, when, and where it went. It's not only animals that hunt by sense of smell. Humans can use their brains to do something similar. Into the map, Ur is one kilometer south. It means we only have to endure this heat for another 20 minutes, Master. I seriously hope we're done after that. Next time, let's hire a guide or a camel. What? What a commendable idea. You wimps from the plains will last a day without a guide. Who's this? Next time you want to enter the jungle, give money to a local and lower your head to the ground and say this. Buenos noches, senora. Senor, senor, do you want some peyote? Oh boy. Master, I can't make it out, but something's there. It's moving at high speed around the, above the trees. Oh my god, is it actually her? <laughs> Meow ha ha. Wait, no, wait, wait, no, this is who I think it is. I'm not just something. I am, I am, hmm, what am I? Wait a minute. Asking Meow for details puts Meow into a tight spot. I know I'm a pretty girl, but. Oh no, well, I was thinking, I forgot where I put my booby red amusing traps. Curse you, you nerds should be ashamed, ashamed of yourselves for challenging someone you've never met to a battle of wits. I got it, she's a dummy. There she is! It's Taiga! It's lit it's literally. It is literally Fujine. I'm not a bunny, why does everyone think I'm a bunny? We never said that. The not bunny fell from above. It's a strange creature. We just discover a new species? No, I am no one. You might call Meow an avatar of the jungle, an embodiment of gray warriors. You could call Meow Jaguar Warrior. Servant Jaguar Warrior makes an appearance. Now everybody focus on Meow. I spent a year on this catchphrase and I want you all to hear it. You may make fun of my name. You may forget about Meow, but I am still here for I am the ultimate tiger, jaguar warrior, hero pose. Now, wasn't, so this is like a double, this is like a, an, a crazy reference. Because one, jaguar is like tiger, which is like taiga, right? But she was in, in Fate Stay Night. Taiga made reference to, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't King Gilgamesh, but it was like, she made reference to some old 
old, I think, um, frick, man, I don't know. There's like some crazy reference that ties this all together that I read and I'm like, holy crap, in the comments. Satisfied grin. Tanner, give us your orders. Cold water of Ur awaits us. Uh, is that the goddess of the Su? The what? Master, you mustn't say it. Let's pretend we saw nothing in fight. She's not the goddess. I know she's not. Because there was a reference to when she, like, she says, like, the golden warrior, something that I thought was Gilgamesh, but then people pointed out, no, it's not. It's actually a reference to this thing. Whatever. But look, it's, it's, oh, it's the team. I'm so happy. Um, so let's start with, wow. Well, geez. Start with this. All these little bonuses are just really nice to all put on, so... Not gonna kill? Yes, good. I like all the little bonuses you get with the, um... Clan codes. Okay. And now let's go... Um, let's get you some meter. There we go. Oof, that damage. Ouch! Thank you, that's better. Thank you. Um, now we'll go... Saber literally needs meter still. So we'll go... Like that, sure. There we go. Now time to just demolish. Oh, well, no, never mind. We still got more. We got a white chimera here first. I thought, I thought it was it. Um, well, let's go, and actually, let's have you source, because you get HP back, so that will be useful. How many turns does your charisma last? Three turns, let's pop that on. Okay, so we're gonna go Caliburn here, because then you'll get meter back, which will be useful. Not a ton of damage, but enough to kill the guy in the back, probably. Yep. Good. Bit of a roar. Get a roar. Okay. And... A little bit more meter. Well, I guess you don't really need it. There you go. That's it. She is. Oh my god. Now she has a buff, it looks like. He's charged by two each turn. Oh, is she actually gonna be a formidable threat? That's unexpected. That's really unexpected. Put that on. Um, I'm actually gonna switch cards here. I want a red one with... Nope, never mind. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hold on to that, actually. And I'm gonna do instead of full combo with... You. And then afterwards, we'll do yours with Heroin. That's good. That's good damage. Oh. Why? Okay. Cool. Beans. <laughs> beans. Let them eat beans. Uh, still 10 out of 10. I also know that, yes, you unlock her after the chapter, so I'm very happy. Okay, I think I've got it. You guys look yummy. Incredible speed, she leapt up above the jungle in an instant and retreated. It's gonna be hard to follow her, both physically and mentally. I agree, she has a ridiculous outfit on, but she was still a powerful servant. She attacked again. I don't think we could win. Go to Ur first and come up with a plan. Woofoo. I'm I'm almost close enough to make a full team of 
Stay Night characters. Because the next character I'm going to wail for is Ilya. Because I want Ilya. Because I, she's great. I almost said words that could have got me in big trouble. Um, let's go. Uh, let's see, yeah, let's do an aerial dive on you. That could be pretty good. And then we can switch you out, and then... Dwayne! Sounds like Dwayne! That's why I said it like that. Are we fighting her again? Yeah, this is very clearly Mexico. You can tell by the pyramid up there that I've literally walked up a very similar one, too. This is Ur. The same size as a rook, but... Trees are encroaching inside the city. It's hotter than a rook, but not unbearable. And see a man in the air is the same as a rook, and above all, people are living here normally? It's, it's not as lively as a rook, but the people of Ur are doing fine. Look a little down, though. Talk to one to learn more. This is my lady. This is Ur, yes? Is, but who are you? Did you cross the river? Yes, we're from a rook. King Gilgamesh asked us to investigate what's been happening here. You're from a rook. That must have been a hard journey. Were you the only survivors from your group? If you were poisoned by snakes or stung by scorpions, I can refer you to a good doctor. How kind of you. Thankfully, we are uninjured. We're just here to investigate, so our party is small. If the king had known you were alive, you would have sent a larger scale rescue party. Rescue party? Let's see. Sorry, but. We aren't evacuating to a rook. Ur is safe, you see. As long as the jungle surrounds us, the demonic beasts can't come in. As long as we obey the rules of the forest goddess, the demonic beasts will not devour us. Oh, well. None of Tiamat's demonic beasts were in the jungle. Yeah, just chimeras. They're just regular creatures, I guess, at this point. Even say that the jungle is protecting the people of Ur. See, I'm assuming there are no casualties then, since this place is relatively safe compared to the rest of Mesopotamia. That's why you never contacted Ur. You think of closing yourselves off in Ur was the best course of action? Of course not. We tried to send help to Uruk. It was a violation of the rules set by the forest goddess you speak of. I see. You are safe, but at the same time, you cannot leave Ur. Anyone who comes to help her, leaves to help, is killed by the forest. Ur's plan to defend itself is to do nothing at all. So I'm glad you understand. Yes, I understand. If you don't resist, you can survive. It's the mentality of those who have given up. Well, how many are chosen as sacrifices? I assume it's one person a day? What are you talking about? There are no sacrifices. I can tell just by looking around. There are far too many. Or too few men. Ur is not at war, so that is strange. Which there must be another reason why they're gone. We're not at fault here. The sacrifices are a necessary price to pay. Everybody agreed to this. All we have to do is offer one sacrifice a day to Eridu. That's all it takes to satisfy that devil. Is that how you've been surviving? Without fighting or heading to a rook? The outsiders wouldn't understand. You haven't seen that terrifying goddess. Perhaps you wouldn't say something so stupid. Even with the people of Ur working together, we're no match against that goddess. Negotiations do not work. It's truly a beast of the forest. All it does is eat and kill. All we can do is quake in fear and wait for our turn. There's no place in Mesopotamia left that's still sane. Oh boy. This is bad. Stand on Lady Mash feels, but I wish she could have controlled herself for a few more minutes. See, all the other townspeople have fled into their homes out of guilt. At this point, we're intruders. It'll take time to persuade them. Get a little more info from them. Sorry. I wasn't thinking about your plans, nor how that town person must be feeling, and just babbled on. Eh, I felt the same way. Knew that I hurt her. She's suffering far more than I am, yet I. Ha 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 ha. No need to have your tail between your legs. I was scolded for killing sacrifices, because it's too old fashioned. Any warriors who have failed the trial of strength are forced into hard labor at Eridu. As, you know, even if I eat them, they're like different from us. I only want fancy feasts like the heart of a hero. Who's this? 
Laughing voices, is it? Wait, who's there? Tell us your name. Is it? It's Jaguar Warrior again. Look up in the sky. What is that? Blue skies, white clouds. Yep, that's a normal line. I mean, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's civilization. No, it's the blazing Jaguar Warrior. Totally not flying. I want to see you animated. I love birds, I love fish, I eat people and stuff. Witness the astonishing teleportation of Jaguar Warrior. She just ran over here normally. Oh. You were positively speechless from witnessing such a cool entrance. Fear not, senor. She speaks with a Spanish intonation, which fits so much, Taiga. Scold the people of Ur all you like. They're a bunch of wimps, so it's probably even a good thing. But I won't let you take them outside because they're my emergency-rations. You tried. If you were to take them, not only would all my efforts go to waste, but then Cuckoo's gonna make me cry. Cuckoo? It's time for you to leave. Oh, hold on. Let me spit some good furball. I mean, uh, in insults out to you. Yes! Oh, she's so cute! This is our world. The world of the spiraling snake. Be gone, you humans who are devoid of the gods' grace. As long as there's jungle, our sun is invincible. What I'm getting at is have a nice day, jerks. Uh, she even has the Fujine outfit just under her thing. It's the best. I love how it's like you get like Ishtar, who's this like embodiment. Like it, it's Rin's, it's Rin, but wearing totally different clothes and like looking very different. You know, you have all these other ones, but then you just have Jaguar Warrior, who is Fujine in a onesie with cat ears. And that's it. That's all she is. And it's great. Up on Shining Path. Um, let's start off with you doing the big combo because we have enough for you. We'll do big combos with each of them. That's my plan. Start off, we'll go with like that to give the starting up, and then we'll do another full combo and another full combo, and that should be it. I bet. As long as we can, you know, get one. But I think we will. Okay. I like this background. Okay, those are those are certainly some attacks. Now it's your turn. Um, and we'll pop this on just to get it. Alright, so we're gonna go... Erendite and then Double Buster. If this doesn't kill, we'll get to see her noble fantasy. Well, she'll get her two charges at the end. Jaguar punch, bust up the game. Jaguar kick. Well, that's definitely one way to do it. Okay. Um, we... Because is her evade three times? Or is it a... Is it a one turn? Two left. Okay, well... That is not worth doing too much with, so... There we go. Well, we'll get to see this. Okay. That's... That's a little underwhelming, except in the damage part. That was some redonkulous damage, actually. Hi, Gwen. It's sunny, right? It is! Okay. Um, well, you don't actually have enough meter. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Goodbye. That, that, a hey. Lancer Monument. I have so many. I have so many of that. We got her? 
No, she's fast. Hey, hey, that was just an after image. <laughs> My entire life is an after image. Self-proclaimed Jaguar warrior is a powerful foe. Her attacks aren't working at all. Got no choice. Tanner, retreat. She may not look like it, but she's a divine- What?! Wouldn't stand a chance without another servant of the same divinity. Got what we came here for. Learned about the situation in Ur and this mysterious Jaguar warrior. That's enough to justify this trip. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about her identity. So you noticed, as expected from Master. You've unlocked Jaguar's secret CG. That is a dream you'll never reach again. And I see an opening now. Oh, I was, re I was really hoping that we'd actually get to see a CG arc here, but... And I see an opening. Miahaha, die! We're retreating, so just ignore that thing, uh, Tanner. In an emergency, they forget my name. Oh. Made it out of the jungle. Caught up to us several times, but each time Anna drove her off. Jaguar warrior annoys you? Yes, a little. That onesie is tacky and non functional. Now let's get back on track. Even though there were unexpected developments, we did our job well. Go back to where Rook and report our findings. I'll be curious to see the king's response. <laughs> you went into. You, you fought a what? <laughs> That's the situation in Ur. We failed to defeat the enemy servant or secure the people of Ur, but. Uh, so you just retreated? The first mission I give you. One for the ages. And yet again, you come back with another completely ridiculous story. Gilgamesh, please calm yourself. Tanner and the others came back alive. That alone is than anyone else can say. How come you guys got to run into such an amusing servant? I wanted to see them too. Why do you guys keep getting the funny stuff while I'm stuck here? I'm a peaceful man, but I can't just sit here forever. Like a kid who's been left out, my king. Consider he's got it rough. Good work with your investigation on Ur. For now, we'll put rescue efforts for the citizens of Ur and the Jaguar Warrior issues. The fact that Jaguar Warrior wasn't the comedic relief that I thought she was is surprising. It seems that the goddess of the jungle sees things differently than the goddess of the demonic beasts in the north. Really? Human sacrifices aren't part of our culture. Oh? So is making offerings not part of your culture? Discrimination, prejudice, entertainment, false convictions, fear, who had no tradition of punishing the innocent for these reasons? Well, as long as human society exists, so will the tradition of human sacrifice in one way or another. However, well, what's happening in Ur is something different. It's barbaric, but there are reasons behind it too. They don't kill to punish, but because they recognize its value. They recognize its value? Saying it's an honor to be chosen as a sacrifice? That's how I see it. Still, it doesn't change the fact that there's suffering. I hate to say it, but we can't do anything now. Merlin, could you see Eridu from Ur? Was the axe intact? No, the jungle is very dense, so I couldn't confirm the situation there. I could sense a powerful divinity. I assume the axe is still in Eridu. The, the, uh, are you talking about the one you're holding right now? That they didn't remove from your art? Or something else. I see, that makes getting through the jungle a necessity. Let's start working on the carts. This is just Minecraft's. This is just Gilgamesh's Minecraft server. Anyway, welcome back from your long journey, Tanner. I'll give you your next mission soon. You may go. Okay, sir. Well, the jungle mission was kind of a bust, but hey. We got a Saint Quart, so it's all Gucci. Okay, back to the embassies. Next time we're back to Encounter, so we will get to do that. Next time, it is currently half off grinding. Uh, in the, in the, this. I'll be doing some of that for sure. Uh, and I'm also doing some rank up quests in the spare time. Like I said, I did the one there. I don't think there's any other character like I really to do here a lot of these it's like yeah i could rank them up but i don't really want to use a lot of them though so, okay Ush ushi's pretty good i know leonidas is apparently pretty pretty good too but like a lot of those are very weak servants 
ones that I don't really want to use, and then we have all these. I have any new ones here that I got from on level four? Okay, I can get that one for Vlad. Um, can't do yours. To a singularity two final. Okay, yeah. So so, yeah. Still got some stuff to do. All right, guys. Next time we'll be back for some more Babylonia, and uh, yeah, I will see you then for that. Ciao.